truly great people exercise an influence beyond their generation. And cities like this one are an ideal platform. But we don't begin here at the heart of London. We begin in a town in the north of England. John Wesley was born here on the 17th of June, 1703. He became a man of great influence, not only in his own day, but in the story of the world. He was so driven by this search for personal and social holiness for all of his life, but it was never just about him. You know, it, it involved actually caring for, for the people around him. John Wesley went up to Oxford. In 1720, he entered Christ Church as an undergraduate. He was certainly one of the cleverest men of his age. This is why I think he was the, the Oxford person who made the biggest difference to the world. John Wesley could come alongside and get on with everybody from the aristocrat to the beggar and seemed to have a natural rapport with people of all kinds of social classes. They weren't the posh people, they were the poor people. They were the, dis the despised people. But John Wesley gave them a message of hope. He was listened to by people who drew from his example um, inspiration to achieve what this grand vision he was telling them about was all about. 